The Discover CS Squad is going to give you some ideas for practicing Morse code at home. So if you remember in session one, we introduced you to Morse code. So before the internet, before television, and even before the telephone, how did people communicate over great distances? Smoke signals? How about the Pony Express? Almost 200 years ago, inventors, including Samuel Morse, figured out how to send electrical pulses over a wire. A long pulse became a dash, a short pulse became a dot. So how do we translate messages into short and long pulses and spaces between? That's Morse code. The code encoded the more commonly occurring letters, such as E and T, as short sequences, and the less frequently used ones, such as Q and C, as longer sequences, which allowed for faster sending of messages. The telegraph sent electrical pulses representing the letters so that, as you can see these on the chart, for example, three quick pulses represented the letter S. At the other end of the wire, these pulses changed into clicking sounds. So here's an example. Listen very carefully. There were four letters being transmitted. The first letter is a dash dot dash dot. Were you able to hear that? The second letter was dot dash. The third letter was dot dash dot. And the last letter was just a dot. Now look at your Morse code chart and let's figure out what the letters are. Stop the video and that'll give you time to work on this. The first letter, dash dot, dash dot, is the letter C. The second letter was dot dash, and that's the letter A. Dash dot dash is the letter K, and the last letter was just a dot, which is the letter E. So we can see that the word is cake. Now we really slow down the Morse code sounds for that exercise. In real life, the transmissions are really fast. Here's what a real transmission would sound like. At that speed, it's hard to figure out what the message is. In case you're wondering, it was, I miss going to school. You don't need a sound generator to practice Morse code and sound. So in this example, Dr. Ed and Ken will transmit words using spoken dots and dashes. <clears throat> the entire coded message consists of four words. Dr. Ed will tell you words number one and number three. Ken will transmit words number two and number four. As you listen to them, write down the sequence of dots and dashes so you can figure out the message that they're passing along to you. Dot, dash, dash. Dot, dash. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot 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 dash dot dash 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 dot dot dash dot 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 dash dash dot dash dot 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 dash dot dash 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 dot dash dash did you know so stop the video so you can figure out what they're saying now here's a message from ed and ken
The secret message was, wash your hands now. Did you know that the U.S. Navy still uses Morse code and lights to send messages between ships? But we can also send Morse code messages using flashlights. Here's an example of someone doing this. The man in the video was on a boat that had lost power. So he was using his flashlight to send the international distress signal, SOF. Here's how the message looks in written symbols. Three dots represent the letter S. Three dashes represent the letter O. And three dots represent the letter S. Now our friend Elmer the robot is going to send a Morse code message to the three of us using light displays of dots and dashes. So write them down as you see them. rewrote the light flashes down in Morse code symbols. Do you want to try and decode the secret word? Stop the video while you figure it out. The first letter is B. Dash dot represents the letter A. Dot dash dot is the letter R. And the final letter is K. The secret word is bark. Now there's one more way you can transmit Morse code without a telegraph. You can blink your eyes. Now watch as Dr. Ed blinks a secret word to me and Ken. We wrote down Dr. Ed's blinks and Morris code symbols. Now you try and figure out the secret word. Stop the video while you figure it out. Three dots are the letter S. The next letter is N. Three dashes are the letter O. And the final letter is W. So the secret word is snow. So now you know different ways to use Morse code. You can write the symbols. You can use sound, whether it's your voice or an instrument. You can use a flashlight, or you can just blink your eyes. Well, we hope that you have fun with this Morse code exercise. And don't forget to tune in to Secrets in Code session number two. We'll be teaching you about the Caesar cipher, another way to make coded messages. Until then, the Discover CS squad wants you to keep killing it.